Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on graphs. The question here is, draw the graph of y equals to x squared plus 2x. Use the graph to find approximate value for minimum value, gradient of the tangent at x equals to minus 1. So let's first see how to draw the graph when the equation is a quadratic equation. So definitely we have to take some x values and then calculate the y values for the same. So let's take x values as let us say we can take as uh, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. So we'll take x values as minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. So for these x values we have to calculate what is x squared and what is 2x, right? So let's calculate uh, 2x first. So 2x is just multiplying these by 2. So we get minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2 and 4. And now let us calculate the value of x squared. So x squared is squaring them. We get positive 4, 1, 0, 1, 4. Now the y value is actually sum of these two, right? So, so to calculate the y value, which is equal to x squared plus 2x, we have to just add these values. So when you add them, you get 0 here. You get minus 1, 0, 3, and 8. So that gives you an idea. It was good to even take minus 3 as one of our values, correct? Okay. So, uh, okay. So let's add minus 3. So let me add on this side. So we'll add a value of minus 3 also. So minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. When you do square of minus 3, you get 9. And when you add them up, you get 3 plus. Right. So you get 3 plus here for minus 3. Now I'll use these values to sketch. Let's make the axis which is uh, okay. So the minimum value which we are looking at is around negative 1. So let's go to this place. The graph is opening upwards. Positive value, we have seen 9 here. So let me go further down to this point. Okay, we'll keep it here. So at x equals to 0, we get 0. So that is 1. Let's move right from here, from 0. At 1, we have 3. So at 1, we have 1, 2, 3. At 2, we have 8. So at 2, we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. On this side, at minus 1, we have minus 1. So minus 1, minus 1. And then at minus 2, we have 0. So at minus 2, we have a 0. At minus 3, we have a value, which is 3. So at minus 3, it is... Uh, uh, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So we get kind of these values. You can see that if I would have calculated for minus 4 from the symmetry, we would have got a point which would have been right there. Correct? So that gives you an idea. Now with these values, we can connect them and sketch the graph. Right? So, so let's connect these points. So it's good to, you know, make a smooth curve here. So we'll actually kind of connect these points like this. So that becomes the parabola, which represents the equation y equals to x squared plus 2x. I hope you appreciate how easily we can, you know, split them, write them in this fashion and then get our va final values, right? So these coordinate points, which we have plotted, are basically minus 3, 3, right? And here we have a coordinate point minus 2, 0. Here we have minus 1, minus 1, 0, 0. We have 1, 3 and 2, 8.
So the scale is this is 1 for us, that is also positive 1, this is x-axis and that is the y-axis. Perfect. So now part A is find the minimum value. So from the graph it is very clear that the minimum value is, is minus 1. Correct. So part 1 minimum value is minus 1. And now second part is find the gradient of tangent at x equals to minus 1. So at minus 1, we have to find the gradient of the tangent. So for that, we we'll need to draw a tangent at this particular point and then find the slope of that point, correct? So that is how you'll find the gradient. Okay, so we, we want to find at x equals to 1. At x equals to 1, uh, since it is a turning point, it is going to be 0, right? So, so here when I sketch the graph, it should have been touching 1. I just moved slightly up like this. Right, so it is more like this. So the gradient at minus 1 is definitely 0 since it is a turning point. And at that point, if I draw a line, it will give me a horizontal line, correct? So at minus 1, the gradient is equal to 0. We have a horizontal tangent. So you also learn from here that basically at a turning point or at the local maximum or minimum for a parabola, the gradient will be zero right so the gradient is zero 